All right, here we go. This is, here we go, here we go. Um, hello, uh, my name is Rob Leon, and I am the product owner for the Whole Hosting team, and I'm joined today by Jared and Becca. Jared is in the U.S., and Becca is joining us from the U.K., and uh, I am very excited because we have a demo prepared for you. We are going to show you how Hosted is working uh, distributed application. So uh, in this particular uh, instance, what does that mean? Um, we are testing here what we call internally hosted apps, which just means that we're hosting an app, in this case, full of fuel, uh, over a distributed network using full of ports as the nodes doing the hosting. So um, Jared, Becca, and I each have a full of port here. Mine is just at my side. Um, and uh, we are going to be using just through a regular browser. In this case, uh, in my case, Firefox, in Jared and Becca's case, Chrome. Uh, we're going to be just typing into our browser uh, an address, just as you would any other regular old website. And it's going to actually be uh, using our full of ports to access that, that application, uh, in this case, full of fuel. So uh, that's what we're doing. And uh, without further ado, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen and give you guys a look at uh, what's going on. So there we go. Um, here's my browser. I'm just going to type there for this particular test. Um, this is the uh, address we're using. And uh, because HoloFuel is uh, dealing with uh, financial uh, data, uh, it requires authentication. And so in this case, I need to either log in or sign up to create a new account. That's not to say that all uh, applications um, that are hosted uh, in a distributed manner on the whole reports are going to require uh, users, web users, um, to log in or create accounts. But in this case, we will. And so I'm going to go ahead and click sign up and just create a dummy uh, email address. In this case, I'm going to say rob123 at rob.com and just create a dummy password as well. Okay, and so now it's um, matching me with a holoport. So, so that's an interesting thing to say as well. Is even though I have my holoport right here, I'm just a web user. I could be in uh, Timbuktu or Australia, uh, very far away from the holoport, and uh, I could get matched uh, with different holoports than the one that's right here on my desk. And so. Um, we won't go into the specifics tonight, but we could if we wanted to look in the console and see and figure out whose whole report uh, is my data actually being posted on. Uh, if we wanted to be really um, in detail about it, um, Becca and, and Jared, um, I think we just want to focus uh, for, for the purposes here um, to keep this snappy. And so the next step here, uh, you can see I've got uh, zero test field bounce. This is a new account. And so my next step here is I'm gonna actually give my account a nickname. And so let's go down to the profile section in the app here. And I'm just gonna say Rob's Holo Port. Save that. And you can see here I have a, what we call an identicon, which is using my specific uh, agent, Holofuel agent ID. I'll just uh, use the Helipil agent ID that's been copied when I click on this. You can also click here. Uh, this is just a specific thing for this particular app. And I can paste that and you can see what that looks like. So this, I would just then give to whoever I want to transact with uh, in terms of Helipil. I'll go ahead and paste this in our video chat application. Uh, so Becca and Jared have it. And I also have, since Jared and Becca have already uh, created accounts, I am going to just go ahead and um, click on Becca's agent hash ID, which is this one, just for all of you curious. And I'm going to paste that in. Oops, let's go over here, create a new transaction. And let's just do one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to just do send, paste that in. And you can see these uh, that you can see Becca's identicon, which is based again off of her, her full uh, unique agent and hash ID. And uh, that is uh, these are the last six characters. So just just in case anyone's interested, this is a demo. Uh, right, just put a little note in there to send. 
tweet. So you're sending that to Becca. That went through pretty pretty fast. You can see um, we've got the flash message, a little bit of information about what's actually happening. And this is just basically saying that now um, Becca is being located on the network and she will then have the option to accept or decline my offer to pay. So I'm gonna X out of this. You can see in my pending transactions, there it is, demo brought to hats. And I can see also Becca's nickname that she's chosen for, for her solar fuel account. And also you click and see you can get her hash ID that way. And that's how that's working. So without further ado, let's go over to Becca and see what's going on over on Becca's side. Okay, yeah. Right, so I already have an account, so I will just log in quickly. I've already set up my profile, and I think, yeah, there we see uh, the transaction from Rob coming in. So I will click here and accept that transaction. Transaction just loading, there we go. Offer accepted successfully. And you can then see that in the history. And just just to um, <laughs> add in some more color commentary on my side that as soon as you accepted, it's already gone to my withdrawals. So it's gone from pending, moved from pending to withdrawals. So that, that was pretty fast. So I will now go ahead and send a transaction to Jared. Awesome. So this is uh, Jared's transaction hash, uh, ID hash. Great, Becca sending me. And that's it sent to Jared and sitting in pending for him to uh, accept or decline it. So I will stop sharing and hand over to you, Jared. All right. So I'll share my screen. T up. Uh, receiving that transaction. So I've also already created an account. So I'll just log in quickly. Let's save that to last pass. <laughs> and there's Becca's offer. So I'll accept that. Yes. Let's see my balance change once it is completed. Their offer is accepted successfully. And so you can see that went through in the history. It's all, all transactions. So now I'll go back to my inbox and create a new transaction. And I will request that from Rob. So I'm just copying this as you would with your friends or you're sending transactions. So this is Jared request to Rob. And then I'll request that from Rob. I'm getting that same pop up. You can see that's now pending. And so I'll stop sharing and let Rob just share that that's gone through to him. I think it's already there. We got the right screen. Yeah, y'all can see. Yep. Looking good. Same yeah, pop so it already it already popped awesome. up as fast. You can see it showing as a request here. Except I'm going to pay your request. Jared requested it. And that's already gone Fantastic. through. Fantastic. All right. Yeah, this is great. Thanks so super, much. Super super happy with that speed. Thank you, everybody. That was great.
Cheers. That's awesome.